The African Cup of Nations finals on Sunday evening, obviously just before the Super Bowl. Yes. Um, and yeah, Dej ain't here to join us to drown his sorrows because he's Nigerian. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I actually wanted Nigeria to win because yeah, I kind of followed them throughout the mm. tournament. I was like, yeah, you man, go for it. Yeah. You get me? Even though they're the noisiest neighbours in West Africa. But yeah, um, 110%. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it was just, what was your verdict? So I don't know if you watched the final. I yeah, yeah. Speak, speak about it. Yeah, I was with the missus, so we yeah. sat there and watched it because she's Nigerian, yes. obviously. So um, yeah, we sat there and watched it. Um, she actually had a watch party at her house. Ah, fair. But she came to mine and she we, we watched it at mine. Fair, fair, fair. Um, uh, and she was just she was sitting there cussing the players. <laughs> I was I was sitting there saying I was watching thinking yeah Nigeria aren't great boy yeah they <laughs> they weren't great at all. It was it was it's the worst time to have your worst performance from their key players as well. Yeah, like no one really turned up. Their um, centre half a Kong. He's all he he's been their main goal scorer, it seems like at the tournament. Joint top scorer with Lookman, I think. They both ended yeah. up with three, I believe. I might be wrong. Yeah, and he he was the one um scoring key goals. But they scored against the run of play. Mm-hmm. They didn't really feel like they were ever in the game, even though we, even though they scored that goal. Yeah, they yeah. scored from a set piece. <clears throat> um and then Ivory Coast, credit where credit's due, they dominated the whole game. Yeah, yeah. L- literally dominated the whole game. And I was sitting there thinking, Yeah, Nigeria, you can't even you know when you can complain about things. Mm-hmm. There's nothing you can complain about in this game. You've been outclassed, outshined, dominated in every area of the football pitch. Yeah. And it's one of those things where you just sit, sit back, hold your hands up and say the better team won on the day. But we didn't put Definitely. out a performance that would allow us to even fight and be in that game. Mm. So that's where I was sitting there from that perspective. I was like, yeah, Nigeria, sorry to say it, but you just weren't good enough on the day. Yeah. yeah. And you kind of, on the day, you need your best players to turn up. Mm-hmm. And... No one turned up. Yeah. I mean, it, it was... Because I think I said on last week's episode, it might have been on episode that, I was like, I, didn't, I don't think the pressure will get to Nigeria. Mm. But watching the game, it seemed like the occasion got to the players. Yeah. Whatever this flies. Yeah. Um, the occasion got to the players. Yeah, definitely. Of some sort. Um, and it was just... Whereas Ivory Coast, obviously they had the 12th man in terms of their home crowd. Um the ref was a bit favourable to them in the first half with certain yes, decisions I'd as well. Agree. Yeah. Um, but the the spirit that they showed was spirit that they showed since the caretaker or interim manager, whatever you want to call it, yes. came in. He's now probably the manager now. Bro, they, he's they a have, hero for life in Africa. Yeah, so. They have to give him <laughs> yeah. a job. Can give him a statue at this rate. Yeah. But winning a home tournament and it's just them, they're... They mirrored what they'd done previous games of just fighting through the games. Because mm-hmm. that was not the game, not the semis. I think the quarters, they went behind. Yeah, they had 10 men. Yeah, there was another game they had 10 men. Yeah. And it's just them fighting through games. Like, mm-hmm. them conceding is not a big thing for them. No, nah, they, they were down in every, in literally every game in the Fair tournament, enough, apart yeah. from the first and the semi final. And I believe they're the first team in tournament history, not AFCON history, tournament history, to lose two games in a tournament and win the tournament. Oh, okay. Because they lost, they lost two, their, two games in their group. In their group stage. Yeah. And I believe so. Because so. yeah. even when it came up to, say, player of the tournament, all that kind of stuff, none of their players were up for anything, really. No. Top goal score, nothing, nothing like that. Do you know what I mean? No. Nope. Because they chopped and changed. Mm-hmm. And I said this to a couple men, I was like, at the beginning of the tournament, I said, Avrico squad wise, I yeah. wouldn't say they're the favourites, but squad wise, they've, pro- they've got one of the best squads. Oh, yeah. When looking at the team, I said they've got the best squad in Africa. Depth wise. Yeah. In terms of players they can bring off the bench. Yeah. Because mm. Adingra and Halo didn't play the opening group stage games. No. I don't think. They, I, di- I didn't even know Halo was in the squad. Yeah. But, until. And until Adingra, the they called game. up, but he was injured. Yes. In the first couple games. Yeah. And I was like. Ooh, it's a bit techy, blah blah blah. But then, take one man out, another man comes in. Yeah, you have Pepe off the bench. Literally, you had they had Max Gradle. They had Gradle's Se- old man, but yeah, you know, he Seri. knows when when to come in. Like because the Dina, first, yeah, they, yeah, they're, they're players, and when you look at the players they have, you think to yourself, man for man, they should always be in those situations where they are at the they, latter stages. Yeah, where stuff, they've ended yeah. the competition, but early in the competition, like, it must have been. Now thinking about it, it, must have been what the manager was doing, uh, or do you just know the players weren't playing for him? <clears throat> but I know, but like 
as a player, you won't go to a tournament and not just not play for someone. These tournaments are some of them are once in a lifetime opportunities. You're right, especially a home one. You're <laughs> right, but you never know what goes on eternally. Yeah, no team de- selection, definitely, definitely. all of that sort of stuff. And you know when someone someone might it, 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 I I've, I'm in and out in, in that situation, so you know kind of mm-hmm. certain things get promised to certain people, then yeah. promises aren't fulfilled before you, yeah, especially you, with our federation. Yeah, <laughs> before you come to camp, someone's telling you something. You get to camp, something's completely different. Yeah, so. When you know the ins and outs of those sort of things, you can understand why someone may be beefing the manager or may not be playing for the manager in that situation. Mm. I don't think it's right because at the end of the day, you're there and you're playing for your nation. Forget yeah. the, what the manager says. <laughs> Hence my point. But, yeah. but it happens. And, you know, obviously there's been situations in the past with Ghana. If the money ain't been right, the players ain't playing. Yeah, even Nigeria back in the day. So, so. There's, a lot of, there's a lot of underlying issues that we don't know or don't see or mm-hmm. well we do know and see but we don't know and see but it's not public knowledge yeah yeah that you know can cause a rift within the camp yeah it, show, it was just weird because like you'd think oh on paper selections look fine in it mm. and stuff like that especially from the players that we tend to know more so the european yeah. based players yeah. and stuff like that you'll think okay cool but then the Obviously, the second game, they lost to Nigeria in their group stage 1-0. Mm. That happened. Yeah, happened. Pen- that was through a penalty as well. Yep. But then the final group game, they lost 4-0, right? Yeah, 4-0 to Guinea. And I was, everyone was like, what the hell? Yeah. Like, that 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 was probably the shock result of the tournament. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, because their fans thought they were out of competition yeah. at that point. I thought they were out of competition. I did. In my group chats, I was saying they're out. Yeah. Forget. And yeah. I actually forgot about, like, the third... In their case, they're the only ones that I forgot about the third place teams. Yeah, <laughs> for yeah, some it's reason. true. Because yeah. I think because they lost two games, I was you like, they're they out. can't get it. They're, I was just saying, I can't believe Ivory Coast are out. Oh my days, four 0 blah blah blah. Mm. And then because of you lot, they went through. Yeah. <laughs> if Ghana, if Ghana went through, Ivory Coast would have went. went yeah, went home. Them. <laughs> but if Ghana had went through, Ghana would have been out next game anyway. So uh, yeah, I'll be honest, it's good that Ivory Coast went through so we could have this story. Yeah, no, definitely. I will. Their story is an all-time story in yeah. terms of football tournament history where a manager's got sacked. Mm-hmm. They've tried to hire a previous manager, <laughs> then bank. Caretaker has to do his first first team job mm-hmm. and he wins a tournament. Yep. Home tournament. <laughs> it's crazy. Bro. You, you, as you said before, if you were to write a script, you wouldn't have written this one. This one. When people say sports is scripted, oh, no. nah, whatever. This is AFCON. That AFCON can that, never be scripted. <laughs> See, God, it's one thing, I, was it my cousin or my sister? The first thing they said when I went to Sierra Leone a couple of years ago, they said TIA. And I was, there was, what's TIA? They was like, this is Africa. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> yep. cool. Yep, it's different. There we go. So, it is different. Yeah, obviously. Just... I think it was more so the disappointing thing was Nigeria's performance. Oh, that's what was... It was terrible. I'll be honest. It was terrible. Yeah. For a final, you can't turn up like that. Bro, didn't give Awesome and nothing to... Nothing. Do. Like, literally no scraps, nothing. Defenders just getting beaten 1v1. But it was because the... He, it was just nuts. Players it's... playing passes to no one. I was watching thinking... Yeah. And you don't... My missus comes to watch my game, so she understands what's going on mm-hmm. to an extent. When she's shouting at the TV, saying, what are they doing? Yeah. And I'm sitting there thinking, boy, they don't usually do this. But even in tournament, they, isn't, they've not played great football, but they've been set up so well. That they've won the game. Yeah. But, and, and the irony, the coach, he's Portuguese. He's Mourinho's best friend. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Defensive. Mandate. I was like, makes sense when Mourinho now. sent like his good luck before the game, I was like, it makes sense yeah. how they've set up all tournament. The first game, they set four at the back. Yeah. They got a draw. Mm-hmm. Like, nah, we need to go five at the back. Be sure more compact. Up. And then... Everyone know their attack. role and just the attacking players do your team. Yeah. 